Hey everyone and welcome to my first Inktober video for this year. Hopefully there'll be a few. I hope you guys aren't sick of Inktober yet. I'm not sick of it yet but I know some people get a bit inked out. Like when Mermaid comes around I get super mermaid out. Anyway for this Inktober I am using the Liquitex Muted Acrylic inks and my theme is endangered animals. So I'm starting off day one with the Atlantic Bluefin Tuna. So the reason I decided to draw animals this month was for a couple of reasons. Number one is um, I just really wanted to practice drawing animals. I drew a tiger a month ago and I was super frustrated. I drew like six pages of tigers and I still didn't understand how to draw them. So I thought this month would be really cool to practice drawing animals as well as using some really awesome inks. And the second reason is because next year in April I'm running my first marathon and I'm actually going to be running it to, well I'm, I'm running it for myself but I'm also running it to raise money for the WWF. So I thought it would be a cool opportunity to learn how to draw animals and also research endangered animals. And in just a few days I found so many animals that I didn't even know were endangered or that existed. Um, and it's kind of sad but also it's good because I'm learning stuff I guess. So, like I said before, this is the Atlantic Bluefin Tuna. It is the largest tuna in the world and it can live up to 40 years. And these guys are in super, super endangered because they're fished illegally. In Asia, they're like a um, super awesome delicacy, I guess. And a single fish can sell for up to like $1.75 million, which I thought was crazy. So their biggest threat is illegal fishing. I personally don't eat fish, so I would never see the appeal, but I guess some people do. I'm also using the Winsor & Newton Gold Ink. So in this first image, I'm using it like really sparingly and I'm super shaky with the old hand movements, but later on I use it a little bit more. And then day two was my super favourite day of this week. It was drawing the vaquita, which is a small porpoise that lives in the coast of um, Mexico, of the coast of Mexico. And I didn't even know these guys existed. And they are the cutest little things you've ever seen in your life. Like for a sea animal, I guess. I mean, they're not cuddly or anything, but I thought they were super cute. And the thing that I was the most surprised to learn was there's only 12 of them reportedly 12 of them left in the world and they're probably going to be extinct by the end of the year maybe even sooner than that because they are caught in gill nets that are used illegally in the Gulf of Mexico so yeah they're going I did these like weird little shapes around the outside I thought that would look cool and I just added more and more and more hoping that it would make it look better and in the end I think it was a little bit overkill. And another goal of mine for this Inktober is to learn how to use a tiny teeny incy wincy pen, not a pen, a paintbrush, to do like outlines and stuff. So day three is the Cape Seashore Seahorse, which is a bit of a mouthful. They do have another name. Um, I think their name is indigenous to South Africa, where they're from. Um, I think it's Krizna or something like that. I'm not sure. But these guys are endangered. They're the most endangered seahorse in the world. And they're basically their population is declining because of pollution and development around the shores because they live so close to shores. So what I did for Inktober to kind of save time and also help stylize my images better 
because I didn't like as I said before I'm not very good at drawing animals so I knew that going a realistic route wouldn't really be helpful for me so I did a whole bunch of sketches which you see at the beginning of every day and then when I actually go to draw the ink thing on the paper here technical words um, I actually just used my sketch instead of looking back at reference photos again so that kind of helped me stylize the images more and keep it a little bit more like not cartoony but not realistic I always find when I'm drawing now, I don't know why, I always lean to the left so you can see my hair in the bottom corner there and I'm getting a super bad back from it. I'm not sure why I keep doing it but I just find myself leaning all the way over to the left. I've got to stop doing that. I need to get better posture. And that's my little seahorse. I really loved doing all the twigs with the lines. They were so much fun to do in the background. And day four, I think, is Hector's dolphin. So my sketches there, I use reference photos. And I really wish I had looked at a photo when I did these because I somehow managed to get the colouring of them completely wrong. Like the in real life they look like tiny little sea pandas, but in at the end of this they kind of look just like a big, like a blob, like a blob, blob of colour. So I definitely want to draw these again because they're really cute in real life and I didn't really do them justice. But the Hector's Dolphin are actually a dolphin found only on the western shores of New Zealand's North Island, which is a mouthful. But um, I actually used to live in New Zealand and I didn't even know these guys existed. Again, I don't know if I'm just ignorant or, or something, but... Anyway, there's only meant to be 55 left in the world, and like the Vaquita, they also get caught in gill nets. They get struck by boats, and um, their environment is polluted. And then I normally come in with the Windsor Newton gold at the end, so you'll see it pop up in a second, but I don't know if you guys use this Windsor Newton gold ink. I find it so hard to use. I shake it like a Polaroid picture, and it's still super watery. So if anyone's got any tips, let me know. And at this point I realise I have completely messed up the eye, so I spend like 10 minutes scrubbing the paper to try and fix it. This paper isn't the best watercolour paper, it's just like a regular stationery brand watercolour paper, so it didn't take all that scrubbing very well. So I tried to fix it in the end with a, a little bit of white gel pen, and it was fine. And that is the Hector's Dolphin. So day five, and the last day of this video, is the Narwhal. The unicorn of the sea. And they are so cute. I know I've said every one of these animals is cute, but the Narwhal, look at it. I just want to hug it if it wouldn't stab me to death. So for this one, I decided to go a little bit crazy and do some lines in the background so i'm just kind of preparing it with some washi tape and i've got my gold ink there and yep putting the gold ink on the paper i think i want to try this again too because it, it was really fun and the tech like the end result looked nice i liked it a lot So I decided to shake up the colour palette. I've been mainly using the pinks and the blues and the purples. So I hadn't really been using the greens. So I decided to do like a pink, green and gold colour for this. Most of these animals and all the animals in the future, the future days that are going to come, um, they're kind of black, white, orange, you know, like a regular animal colour. But the only colours I have are these pastel pinks and blues. So I kind of had to like use creative licence for the colouring. So in real life, these narwhals are white with like black speckles, speckles and they actually change colour throughout their life which is pretty interesting. So these guys actually aren't endangered. Their habitat is threatened by climate change because they're from the Arctic so with you know global warming and the ice caps melting and stuff but I just thought they were so cute and they were on the WWS website which is where I got all my animals from. So I figured I'd include them in there. 
and the gigantic tusk coming out from the end of its mouth, end of its nose there, is actually a gigantic tooth. And they don't use it to spear fish. Um, there's actually a video on the website, on the WWF's website, that shows them hitting the fish to knock them out and then they eat them. So I guess you could say they're humane killers. So that's the narwhal. So these are the first five days of Inktober. I really like looking at all of them together, like the colour palette. I can't wait to see the entire month. It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, hopefully I'll be back in a few more days with the next five. I'm pretty busy next week, but hopefully I'll be back. Hope you enjoyed watching that and you guys are having an awesome Inktober. Thanks for watching. Bye! Thank you.